All right, Jordan. Well, I've got a glow stick here. Do you ever use these little chemical glow sticks at home? Yes. All right. I know we used to go to the beach and we'd take them out on the beach at night and things with us, but are you familiar with how a glow stick works? Yes. You take and you break it and it starts glowing. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and break that one there. We'll, we'll get our lights out over there and go ahead and break that for us. So when we bend it, it starts glowing. And now you can probably shake it around and make it glow a little bit better, right? But have you ever really thought about what makes that happen? No, I haven't. Okay, well, it's a chemical reaction taking place. Because what, what's inside a glow stick? Have you ever taken one apart to see how it works? No, I really haven't. Okay. Well, if you ever take a glow stick apart, we're not going to take this one apart now because we already broke it, but there's actually a glass tube inside the plastic. And the glass tube's got a colored chemical in it. Mm -hmm. And that's called diphenyloxalate. And inside the plastic tube, there's peroxide. And when those mix, it creates a chemical reaction that gives off light. Mm -hmm. And that's called chemical luminescence. And that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, but instead of doing it in a glow stick, we're going to do it in our Petri dishes here. All right? And we'll just get our lights back on for a minute so that we can, so that we can work. But what I've done, I've filled these Petri dishes with hydrogen peroxide, mm -hmm. just like you might use at home to put on a cut or a scrape or something like that. But we've got some of that diphenyloxalate. Now, we've, we've got this out of, out of a lot of glow sticks and got several different colors here. I've got some blue, some purple, some green, some pink, and some yellow. And I'm going to let you help with this. You've got some droppers over there. All you need to do is just kind of take that and just squeeze a little bit of it down into that peroxide. All right, and you can make different patterns with it, put different colors. And we'll, we'll set these over here, just whichever colors you want to use. You can use a few of them or all of them, however you want to do it. And we're going we're gonna to make a little chem, uh, chemiluminescence reaction here using our diphenyloxalate, the peroxide, but also something else that we're going to add in just a minute. And basically, each of these different colors, it's the same chemical, it's just got different fluorescent dyes mixed in with it to give us the different colors that we see when, when the glow stick glows. And I think we've got those pretty well filled up now. So I'm going to move all of these bottles off to the side here. Now for the next part, this, this chemical's a little bit dangerous here. We don't want to get it on us. We're going to add some sodium hydroxide. So let's put our goggles on just to make sure you wouldn't want to get any of this in your eye. And we're just going to, I'm going to put you a little bit in a beaker. And we'll go ahead and get the lights out again because when I tell you to, what I want to do is just take it, don't, don't dump a bunch of it in, mm -hmm. but you just want to sprinkle a really fine layer of that over your Petri dish. Try not to spill any on our table there. And let me go ahead and get both of these full. We'll do them both at the same time. And that's going to activate the chemical reaction and we're going to start seeing the luminescence from the peroxide and the diphenyloxalate. So if you're ready, we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle it really lightly. And let's just watch the reaction that takes place. And what you can do is you sprinkle it in, you notice it's starting to kind of bubble around and move around and swirl around. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is that sodium hydroxide dissolves. It's actually giving off heat that's causing little currents in the, in the peroxide. And it's also causing the peroxide to release some of its oxygen gas. So that's causing little currents around in there. And it's actually going to mix it in and it's going to activate. If you want to go ahead and pour some in that middle one there too. And you can see that nice chemiluminescent reaction. That'll be good there. Let's let that go to work there. That nice chemiluminescent reaction. I think I might have put a little bit too much in this one. Well, and that, the thing is, if you put a lot, it's going to burn real bright, but it's going to yeah. burn real quick. If you put a little bit, it won't burn as bright, but it'll burn a lot longer. And that's kind of the same thing you notice with glow sticks at different temperatures. When a glow stick's cold, it doesn't burn as bright, but it burns longer because it slows down the chemical reaction. Well, the sodium hydroxide speeds up the reaction, so the more of that we put, the faster it's going to burn. It's going to swirl around faster. You're going to see those colors real bright, moving around a lot, but it will be used up more quickly. But that's a great example there of chemiluminescence, that property of chemical reactions that actually give off light. Uh, we can use them in our glow sticks, use them to see at night, and it's just a, a really neat, really fun reaction to do.